Suggested daily practice, two 15-minute sessions. Stop before your dog gets tired or fills up. If you've practiced targeting in between downstay trials and consistently required your dog to lie down to get his treats, your dog should already love running to and lying down on his rug. In fact, he should want to lie on the rug in front of the treat and train whenever it's out, which is why both are out only during training sessions. If your dog isn't that attached to the rug and treat and train, take a step back and think why. Does he have a history of being reprimanded on the rug that you're using? Did you skip steps? Is he really motivated for the treats you're using? You may have to go back and repeat steps from the downstay game. If the problem is that he just hasn't had enough practice targeting between downstay trials though, you can go on to step one. In this step, target your dog several times in a row and then follow him up to his rug, and when he gets his treat, tell him to lie down. Once he's down, give him a few more treats at varying intervals so he continues to think about staying in a downstay, rather than developing a pattern of automatically getting up right after he gets his treat, like this dog Ferdinand. If he does get up on his own, just walk him back and have him lie down again. Your dog should remain lying down until you give him a cue to do something else. Birdie, target. Ferdinand tends to lie down automatically, so I don't need to give a verbal down cue, but you'll probably need to give your dog a verbal cue. Notice that I give Ferdinand enough treats at varying intervals to keep him in his downstay, and when he looks stable, then I target him off and repeat the exercise. If your dog looks like he's going to lie down crookedly, just position yourself in a manner that causes him to straighten out before he lies down. One method is to stand on the side he runs to. You'll have to try different positions to see what works for you and your dog. Avoid physically manipulating him though, as many dogs automatically respond by resisting and then they become confused. Most dogs will lie down crookedly or off the rug a few times. When your dog does this, just have him stand up and reposition him to lie down. You may have to give your dog a visual cue in order to get him into position. Come on. Down. Or you may want to target him into target. position. Down. When your dog reliably runs to the treat and train after targeting and lies down on the rug on the first verbal cue nine out of ten times in a row, go to step two. In step two, target your dog, but don't tone and treat until after he runs to the treat and train and lies down on his rug. He should automatically run to the treat and train after targeting because it's a habit now. Once he gets to the treat and train, he should lie down automatically or at least wait around for his treat. If he remains standing, you can either wait a few seconds to see if he'll lie down on his own, or you can cue him down verbally. If you'd ultimately like him to lie down automatically, you should regularly give him a chance to lie down on his own without your verbal cue. At this stage, make sure you practice from many different directions relative to the rug, so that your dog gets used to positioning himself on the rug from many different directions. When your dog can perform this step from different directions 9 out of 10 times in a row, go on to step 3. Go 
If he messes up more than 5 out of 10 times, go back to step 1. In this step, we'll start teaching the place cue. Stand with your dog 5 to 10 feet from the rug and position him so he's facing the rug. While you hold your dog by his collar, release the treat from the treat and train, place. say place distinctly and immediately release his collar. Down. Once he gets to the treat and train and eats his treat, down. have him lie down and then give him a few more treats at random intervals. Make sure you continue giving treats until he's stable on his down and gives no indication that he wants to run back to you. You should still be standing 5 to 10 feet away from the rug when you tell him to lie down. If your dog is ready for step 3, he should want to run to get his treat as soon as he sees it. Here's an example of a dog that's not ready for this step. Callie's completed the down stay, but she didn't get to target much in between trials. She also hasn't completed steps 1 and 2 of placing. Timing of the place cue and collar release are very important in this stage of training. So let's go over these steps again. First hold your dog by his collar so he doesn't run to the rug on his own. Next release a treat to attract his attention. Then in an energetic voice, tell him to place and immediately afterwards release his collar. Place will come to predict that he gets the opportunity to run to the rug and lie down. Let's look at the correct way again. Place. Down. Just a reminder, avoid nerdy pointing. Doing so may slow your dog's learning of the verbal cue. Place, Zoe. It's especially nerdy to point when your dog's not even looking. Place. One interesting thing that happens at this stage is that because you're behind your dog, yeah. your dog may tend to lie facing you instead of the treat and train. When you tone and treat, yeah. he'll stand and face the machine to get his treat. Stay where you are and tell him to lie down. If he lies down facing you the second time, just treat and tell him to lie down again. Eventually, after you repeat this portion of step three enough times, your dog will lie down in the correct orientation all the time because it's easier to lie down in this orientation to get the treat than it is to turn around and face you and then have to get up to get the treat. If he tends to start walking back to you instead of lying down, then repeat step two. Notice that in between trials, I call Ferdinand back instead of targeting. You can practice either way. If his recall is not that good, review the section on coming when called. Pretty good. Good boy. In between trials, you should vary between targeting one to three times or just calling him to you. Some dogs don't like having their collars grabbed. They may associate this action with getting in trouble or being put away outside. You can have these dogs sit politely and then reach for their collar. Make sure you give them a treat as you reach for the collar so they associate this action with good things. Another alternative is to use a leash. Of course, if you have a dog that mouths or growls at you when you grab its collar, you should consult an animal behavior specialist. Usually such problems can be quickly remedied using a simple classical conditioning program involving treats and other things the dog enjoys, but such programs should be supervised by a qualified professional before the problem progresses. Pretty 
Another problem is that some dogs get confused if they're facing away from the treat and train at the beginning of the exercise, or if you try to position them by dragging them around by their collar. One solution is to position them to face the right way by targeting them so that they have to go around you. Let's show that again. Another option is to call them and present a food lure or some other visual lure in such a way that they have to go around you. Repeat this exercise until your dog completes 9 out of 10 correct trials in a row, and then go to step 4. If your dog messes up more than 5 out of 10 times in a row, go back to step 3. Step 4 is the same as step 3, except now don't tone and treat until after your dog has run to his rug and lay down. You can verbally cue him to lie down, or you can wait until he lies down automatically. Pretty come! Good boy! Remember, it's nerdy to tell your dog to lie down when he's about to lie down already. Down. In step 5, we place from different directions relative to the rug, so that your dog learns to position himself correctly on the rug. As always, remember to put the treat and train and rug away between training sessions.